There is a lot of misinformation out there when it comes to the history of the automobile. When I was younger, I thought it started with Fred Flintstone and his stone wheels. But of course, now we all know that Fred only came up with the foot brakes. I mean, duh. Another common misconception is that the first car was invented by Henry Ford, which is also false. The truth is, before Ford began working on his dream, one man got wheels rolling with steam. History books mention names like Gottlieb Daimler, Carl Benz, and Henry Ford as pioneers of the automobile. But what about Sylvester Roper? Ever heard of him? Me neither. Sylvester Roper was a mechanic and a sort of a tinkerer who'd been experimenting with steam-powered carriages since about 1860. And by the mid-1860s, he actually finished a working prototype. The Henry Ford Museum's curator of transportation, Matt Anderson, clued me in on this footnote in the annals of auto innovation. What is the oldest car in the museum? The oldest vehicle we have is an 1865 Roper steam carriage right here. I would never put 1865 with anything car related. This is a good 20 years before any of the serious work is done by Carl Benz with gasoline powered vehicles in Germany. So it's, it's ahead of its time. And where's the gas tank? No gas tank on this. Instead, you would have a boiler that's underneath the passenger seat there. And then you've got a water tank in the back for the water that's boiled to create the steam. It's steam powered. This is a car. It is, but it's only a car because we know what a car is today. They didn't think of it in those terms when it was built. People in 1865 had seen steam-powered boats, they'd seen steam-powered locomotives, but no one had really ever seen anything that moved on its own on the open road, so it really was different. In the 19th century, steam was king, powering the American Industrial Revolution and the mass production of goods in a variety of industries. Why don't we know Sylvester Roper's name? I think part of the problem is Roper just never went into commercial production with it. He, he had the seeds of a great idea, the self-propelled vehicle, the automobile, really, but he never really wanted to or figured out how to put it into commercial production. I am just realizing right now when you said self-propelled vehicle and automobile, I never had ever thought about what that means, automobile. Absolutely, it's a French word for self-driving vehicle or self-propelled vehicle, yes. <laughs> Roper's steam carriage boasted a top speed of 30 miles per hour with a driving range of up to 150 miles per day. His reason for building it? Easy money. He built it as a, a sideshow attraction. He took it to carnivals, to fairs, to circuses, and charged people admission to watch this vehicle move under its own power on the open road. Did it attract big crowds? It absolutely did. In fact, one of the people who bought one was P.T. Barnum, greatest showman of the 19th yes. century. Was it safe? It was safe as long as you weren't going too quickly. The, uh, the one thing it lacked was any kind of a break. Okay, and unless you've got Fred Flintstone feet. Exactly, yeah, you're in trouble. Not for me.